Hello and welcome to Bellum Road Farm. This is episode 7, part 1. It's the big plant. But before we get into that, let's just check our cars and see that they're all doing okay. Yeah, so they okay. The old cattle shed, they have got enough food for the rest of the day, but we'll do some top-ups this evening. First of all, we need to get the milk delivered. The Holsteins, they need, they've got enough to last through the day, so we'll top them up today because I think next month we'll be moving them back to the field, so we've got to make sure we don't leave too much in the barn. So they look okay for now. We'll do a top up this evening. The old car shed, they look good until tomorrow, really. As I was saying, we've got to go and collect the milk. Of course, because we're playing on hard for this year, milk production is. Not quite as good as it was well, last year. We didn't do a full year last year. It was just the last couple of months of once we'd taken over in. When did we take over? August, I think it was. Somewhere around there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the just under 5,000 litres that are in the old car barn. And I'm going to put that into the into the creamery, into our dairy. We do have about 8,000 in there already still, so it should take a 12,000 little quite easily keep us going until next month. Till, uh, where are we now? In March, aren't we? Till April. So let's get that delivered. Then I will take, there's just over 8,000 in the, in the new barn, so I'll take about 6,000 of that, 6,000-ish of that to the ice cream maker, and then we'll deliver 1,000 litres from the old barn to the vending machines to the two vending machines, a thousand litres each. Right, so now we've got to just kind of stop that, yeah, 6,000-ish, a little bit over 6,000. We'll get that into the ice cream maker. And it should bring in a little, a little bit. I'm just I'm doing this very quickly this morning because we've got the big plant to do this afternoon, plant that wheat field and that's going to take quite some time to get that all sorted out. Alright, so let's get this ready and we'll take that down to the to the housing complex. Go and drop this off. As you can see, there was a bit of snow last night. So winter's not officially over, but I, I do expect to put to turn out the the cows early next month. Right, yeah, that's even worse than it was last month. Only one thousand three hundred liters over one thousand three hundred pounds for a thousand litres. Alright, we'll get this down to the biogas vending machine. I presume that will also be about 1,300. It's income. Uh, that's all I can say about it, really. <laughs> it's not great income, but it's income. 
What do they say to? Better than the better than a poke in the eye with a pointed stick, as they said. Right. Okay. Let's get started. So first thing we need is we need a planter. Now I'm hoping that I can get myself a nice cheap direct draw. I do seem to think there was a fairly basic cheap direct draw that of course that we can that our tractors, our small tractors can handle so yeah, so there's one that's a uh, 6,000, that's a direct drill, yeah, and it fertilizes at the same time, that's good. So John Deere, it looks like exactly the same as the case. So that is looking like it's going to be the best one for us. It's just quick squiz, see those all, because that was 5.5 .5 meters wide as well, so... 5.2 meters yeah so it's covering a bit of ground as well so it's just a question of case or John Deere case or John Deere case or John Deere the tractor is green the other one is red ah we'll go for John Deere toss of the coin doesn't really matter they're exactly the same really right we'll just leave normal tires on it and Yeah, there's nothing else we actually can do. Pick it up and let's go and get going. Of course, we could, we could put some seed and fertilizer in there. Let's get hooked up. I suppose we should have used the style. You know, the styles. slightly heavier this is quite a light quite a light tractor but in any case it's 136 horsepower it'll pull it easily right get two bags of seeds we might need a little bit more because it's loam soil so it's going to use a lot of seed it's pretty most of our soil at the top there is loam because we're only getting about 80 percent yield so we've got to try and maximize that as much as possible get it I'm hoping to get, if not 80%, very, very close to it. With, so I'm going to do, I'm going to go the whole hog. I'm going to do everything we need to do. It's one of the reasons why I just was looking for a direct, direct draw. Because I think we get, we get some brownie points in the, in the, in the yield stake. Well, not, not so much in the yield stakes, actually. We get some brownie points in the, um, oh, what's it called again? The um, environment school. Right, so we've got the seed loaded. Let's get some fertilizer loaded. And we'll head on up to the field. So I think this is going to be quite a long operation and as I said at the beginning of the episode I um, decided to do a part one part two here um, it's the first plant that we're doing so I want to pretty much go through it pretty thoroughly so that you can see the whole process even, even having to Clip the gate as we go in. Right, so let's get that set it up. There's no PTO, so it's just a purely drag along planter. Yeah, so I think it's going to, I definitely think it's going to use a lot of seed. I think we're going to have to replenish a couple of times. Looks like the Fertilizer is just going to be used at a fairly rapid rate. Right, so we started planting, and of course, if you remember from episode 5, 
we've got that cereal contract so that's the reason why we're planting wheat so I'm just going to go and meet the representative from the cereal company who's going to put up a little sign just at the gate and just sign the final papers and then the money should start trickling in right there we go it's just he's just gonna knock it in now yeah so we should be getting uh, 8,600 per month until we harvest and that will certainly help out we do have to have the signpost up of course we're using the municipal subsidy sign here but uh, if you drive around a lot of the UK countryside you will see this field has been grown for we all know it is a W and a B this is not the BBC is it so I suppose we quite it's quite okay for us to say this field has been grown for Weetabix in any case off we go so we'll put this onto a little bit of a time lapse just to get things going so I'll get the uh, headlands done again and then once we're starting to run out I'll have to nip down to the store and go and get some more as you can see some more seed and fertilizer you can see it's going down at a fairly rapid rate I mean, there's no way we're going to feel, finish the whole the whole field on the seed that's there or for that matter must probably be the fertilizer so let's just get this all squared off and then we'll get the worker going and we'll nip off down to the to the farm we'll pick up the front end loader we'll go and get a I'm not sure if we've got a pallet fork we'll have to find out so I thought what I'd do is just put a load of a bag of of fertilizer and seed onto a pallet fork and just run it straight up to the run it straight up to the to the field well here we are just about at the store to pick up the seed and the fertilizer of course so the first thing we need to do is just make sure that well buy a set of pellet forks for the telehandler let's get down have a check on those it's gonna set us back a couple of grand I think but they'll come in useful especially when we plant in the future yes yeah, so I've got a worker up on the other field as I'm sure you know it's probably going to run out of seed any time now uh, that's good enough it's the only one there we don't need anything fancy I've just put the straps on it the straps version just uh, in case same price might as well have the option if we ever need it it's probably won't now that I've done that but still <laughs> it's just the way it goes come on let's get this going right here we go now the next part is going to be interesting just for fun I'm not going to cut it Let's see. Let's see if I can get the bag of seed and the bag of fertilizer one onto each time without having everybody rolling on the floor with laughter at my ineptness. I think I'm putting a bit of pressure on yourself here now. 
<laughs> right, let's get the first one on. Oops, there we go. Don't let it go over, otherwise that's another problem. Caught that one just in time. And do exactly the same thing again. Well done. <laughs> this is just a bit of fun. There we go. It's on. Not too shabby even though I say so myself. Well, nobody else is going to, are they? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now comes the tricky part. I try and do this without setting down the seed first. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, don't let it go over again. A little bit lower. Tilted a little bit forward, one of the two. Oh, there we go. We're in. Fantastic. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, I hope. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of fun. Vision, at least, uh, visibility is not going to be great. Luckily, I know these roads like the back of my hand. Right, so here we are at the at the field. Just put this onto a bit of a time lapse while it's filling up. and get it set off and we'll continue yeah so uh, still going down quite quickly looks like we'll have to Fill up some more. Well, we still have a bit of. Do we have a bit of? Yeah, we had a little bit of seed left, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think we'll have to head off back down to the to the store, go and pick up some more. Seed and fertilizer. Right, that didn't go too badly, but then I tried to get a bit too clever and knock that bag over. Well, we'll come and collect that at a later stage. I don't think we'll need it right now. I think this will be enough. There we go. Let's get the rest of this done. The planting is just about finished. Haven't got a huge amount more to do. This pass and then Pretty much I'm tidying up 
and I think that's where I'm going to end this episode we've got the wheat in we've got the subsidy up and running and because we found this nice little cedar we've pretty much fertilized as well so in the next episode we'll finish off working on this field we'll roll it let's get all these little bits and pieces done and then we'll do the rest of the chores all the deliveries that we need to do and feed the cattle etc thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio.